Hello everyone, Mr. Simple Majority here. I am doing a video real quick uh, to show off some interesting uh, things about Universal Electricity Plus Applied Energistics. Before we get started, if anybody knows why this happens when I make a video, please let me know. It starts right when I hit it and when it ends I get a yellow grid right in between these as well and it'll just kind of snap off to the next one and the next one I have no earthly idea why um, so as I said I'm going to show you uh, some interesting items between universal electricity and applied energistics wherever that went off to now if you're like me I don't have build craft installed or industrial craft or thermal energetic uh, thermal expansion none of that stuff I got rid of it. I literally got fed up with it and just said, you know what, I'm done. Can't handle it anymore. I had so many mods doing the same freaking thing. So I simplified. I went down to universal electricity. I got electrical expansion, mechanism, um, universal electricity, of course. Down here we got assembly line, atomic science, fluid mechanics, ICBM, and modular force field system. And that's it, yeah. Oh, also modular power suits. So, <clears throat> uh, since I don't have build, and I don't have build craft, and so I don't have any way of actually getting the energy into applied energistics, or so I thought. So, what I do is I'm going to grab myself, uh, should have got the bigger one, um, the Elite, or the Ultimate Storage. Here we go. And over here we'll need an infinite battery, just so I can show off all the features without the batteries ever draining. And back to Applied Energistics for the drive, crafting interface, our access terminal will just be fine. And we'll need ME cable. No, not the storage bus. We need the um, export and import bus. So, one of the things I learned early on, but while I was still in my 196 mod lifestyle, was that with uh, applied energistics, you could connect uh, the ME controller up to a 512 EU power connection, and it wouldn't explode anywhere. Same holds true here. This guy is a 480 volt connection. This is the biggest you can get in power voltages. So go ahead and connect that and you'll see the power comes right up. Now since I don't have any way of connecting these two blocks together via pipes or wires or anything of that nature, um, this is the only way we can actually do it by having the cube attached directly to the block. If I were to go over here and say grab some insulated copper wire, no, can't use that, it's too low. We need, um, almost blew up everything. Uh, insulated high voltage wire. Now we drop that down and connect this. You'll notice the two blocks do not connect and the machine will not work. So I have no way of actually connecting the power. All I can do is literally do this, bump it right up to this machine. I don't even think ME cable will work. Yeah, see, I can't even connect it. So, we'll go ahead and drop that, and we'll put our access terminal on top. We can go ahead and get rid of these guys. We don't need them anymore. Go back to Applied Energistics. We'll get ourselves a 64K storage device, and drop that in there. Okay, now, and we don't need that, get ourselves a basic energy cube, and we can see the power is draining off this guy, we need to put that in there, um, back to here, get another infinite battery, back to mechanism, we'll need, uh, we'll use an enrichment chamber for this, there we go. And we'll need um, osinium dust and 
Ocinium ore as well. So next thing we're going to do is drop, we'll go ahead and drop our, this is a basic energy cube, 120 volt connection, 5 megajoule storage, which is perfect for this guy, which runs on 120 volts of power. Now, <clears throat> gonna drop these back in. The nice thing about this mod is, if you make this guy the configurator, you can actually change the size of the device. So right now dark red is input, dark blue is output. We have orange, which is, uh, actually I think that's the green, orange which is upgrading, and green which is power supply for batteries. Now if we right take the configurator and right click on the sides, you'll see it says current color. We have gray, orange, dark red, and dark blue. So dark, the output is on this side of the machine at the moment, and the input is on top which is fine, except we want the output to be on the front of the machine. So we're going to right hold shift key and we're going to right click until it says dark blue. And then we can double check it says current color dark blue. You know what, I also don't want my power, uh, my entrance, my, uh, whatchamacallit on top of the machine, my input. So I'm going to change this until it says dark red. Okay, now we're going to use our export bus. We'll connect that. And if it doesn't line up, that's okay. Don't freak out. If you make a quartz wrench, uh, you can simply right click and adjust it until it looks like this. Where the piece is connecting to the machine, the little wire connection comes off the back. And then simply connect it to your system. Then we'll hook up our import bus on this side. We'll rotate it until it's in position. And then we'll connect that up. Now, if I right click here, this is the import. This is what's going to go into the network from the machine. We'll put our Ocinium dust in there, like so. And then we're going to come over here to the export. And this is coming out of the network going into the machine. And we'll place our Ocinium ore like so. Now if we come back over here, and now I'll actually have to use NEI to bring in the blocks. Two, three, four, five, six. We'll do six blocks in total. And we'll shift, oh, can't do that. Forgot, can't put them all in at once. You gotta do it one at a time. There we go. So you can see right away it's pulling out uh, the block instantly and putting it straight into the machine and you can see the machines processing it and is sending it back into the network. Really cool. One of my biggest concerns when I dumped all my mods off just for this, I went from 169 mods down to 42 mods in all. I don't have Buildcraft anymore. I use bread power from any, anything and everything mining. I will build my frames and build my um, block breakers to dig down. Um, I don't use IC2 because a lot of the machines and mechanism are already found in IC2. And so it's just a lot of redundancy. And I also like the way the power systems look in this mod. Um, you know, a little history, when I first started playing with mods in Minecraft, um, I had... I started actually with Buildcraft, was my very, very first one. And then I added uh, uh, Industrial Craft. And then I found Alarum's mods, which at the time were actually called Integrated Redstone. And oh man, for the longest time, I was just like, oh man, power on, power on, where's the power to the people? But then it's just like, you, know, you start finding all these add ons and stuff. And I was just never really, for Industrial Craft, I was never just really into the whole uh, design of the system, like how the blocks were, like a th geothermal generator was just a block, looked like a furnace. This is what a geothermal generator looks like in universal electricity. It just, it looks more like a gener generator. This guy here, the electrolysis separator, this is used in the process of uh, creating hydroelectricity. And what it will do is separate the hydrogen from the oxygen. 
and you would need storage tanks for that. Um, third block, this is the hydrogen generator, and this is what generates the power. So the hydrogen comes out and gets generated here. And we need a pump, and I, I've never actually used that system as of yet. It's still something I'm working on. And then the bio generator, which looks like a looks it looks like a power system. It has a feel of it, and I know it's like well you know who cares, but it, it, in the end it just it looks realistic, and that's what I I like. I like the ideas behind it. Um, I also like the fact of when you go mining. Whoops, I didn't need two of those. It's a good idea to have this guy on, which is your hazmat suit. <clears throat> because uranium actually can hurt you. And that's as it should be. A uranium should hurt you if you are near it. It is a toxic metal. So putting on your uranium suit will protect you from that. And if we go back to atomic science, there's another reason you want to have uranium. And that is because of the, uh, or the suit. And that's for this and you can see my suit's already taking damage while I'm holding the uranium 238 it's already taking damage and it will continue to do so while it's in my inventory if I take any part of my suit off I will begin to take radiation poisoning and you can see this suit's failing real quick there we go take that out of there also the modular power suits was really cool I like the ideas behind it the reactors, I don't have any reactors here in this test world. Um, and I'm not going to build one real quick. It's just there's a lot of parts that have to go into making it. And building it, I mean, it's more interactive. So, that's my whole point. That's why I downgraded. Plus, I was also having to ded dedicate so much RAM to my system. Wow. I mean, I think I had it up to 8 gigabytes of RAM just for Minecraft. It was so many mods. And I went with a pure tech mod with the one exception of uh, Mistcraft. It's the only fantasy based mod. Uh, other than that, everything else is technical and based off some some sort of real, real, real life s uh, system. Which uses real numbers. That's the other thing that drew me to universal electricity is the fact that it runs on volts. Uh, megajoules, volts, uh, kilowatts and so forth so it's easier to understand and uh, make the systems anyway I just want to show this off also I'm not going to build it but if you do have the crafting uh, system fully in place with the containment walls the heat vents and all that uh, you can actually create uh, recipes from mechanism and any of the UE mods and parse it through the system really awesome I uh, like I said, I said it when I first found the mod, and I'm going to say it again. This mod is the end of treasure chests as we know it. I haven't been able to throw anything at this thing and have it not be able to work it, work with it. So, what's coming up in my future? I'm actually thinking about doing a mod series on Universal Electricity. I know there's one from the Volt series, and... Uh, I've had, I guess either I've had problems with my YouTube, or I just have problems understanding the guy. Most also, most time, most people who do mod tutorials, usually are just, like, Direwolf20 is famous for this. And I love Direwolf20. I think he's a great guy. And I like his videos. I really enjoy listening to his stuff. But he'll be talking about a mod, and be like, okay, and uh, to make that, we're just going to need this these items. So steel blades and just real quick. And then because of him it's more showing off than it is the building part. Where for me when I do my mod tutorials I like to show how to build each of the items. I'll go through the parts and the components. Um, for example I'll start with the, the generic tools of universal electricity. And when I do it I'll actually include the tools from um, the tools from electrical expansion, which would be the multimedia meter, multimedia. Yeah, my mind's still on a comet, a certain comet that's in the northern hemisphere at the moment. Um, the multimedia from elect, a multi, multimeter from electrical expansion, the wrench from basic components, um, 
the devices like this, the wireless, the remote detonator from ICBM, the tracking computer, and so forth, those items, those probably come a little later though, because it's more of a defensive thing. Um, the configurator, and uh, yeah, it's pretty much all those tools. I think the way I'm going to structure it will be creating a factory from the ground up which will, will be everything from universal electricity. So it won't have any integration to this, not till near the end of the video where I start talking about this. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily do a tutorial on applied energistics. I probably will. I haven't fully watched Direwolf's videos on the mod. I just remember that he was going pretty quick through it and it was really hard to follow. So, anyway, that's it for now. Yay. I know these things, if anybody plays this, knows that these, this, especially the Ultimate Energy Block Cube, is uh, extremely expensive to create. It takes a lot of resources. The basic ones are fairly easy to create. Um, I think you need six gold for it. But this one here requires a lot of resources to make. I know it's a lot, and yes, there's some limitations. It has to bump up right to it. And each one of these means more energy storage is required throughout the network. It's going to be more solar panels or advanced solar panels. Um, it's going to be more of these guys right here. The advanced solar panels. Another one of my favorite parts of the power system. That is just so cool. That looks like a solar panel. <laughs> But uh, I know it's more of those, or you're going to have to put a push forward on your fission reactor to get it online, but it's well worth it, and I just, I just don't see any other way of doing it. I mean, I am, this is awesome. So anyway, I'm going to get off here because I am tired and I tend to ramble. So until next time, until the next tutorial series, which will be Universal Electricity, this is Mr. Simple Majority signing off.